Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Elysium Suicidal. And, uh... What's the other topic that we have to talk about today that's not Terraria, because we don't want to repeat ourselves? Well, it's chess, of course. It's chess, of course. I, uh... I've been playing against bots lately. I've been playing against bots, because I got it on my... I have it on my phone. I put, uh, put chess.com on my phone, and, uh... I don't, I don't like the chess experience on my phone as much as I do on my computer. I, I prefer it to have a, a bigger screen and, and be able to kind of see what's happening a little bit better and uh, all of that. So when I'm, you know, sitting on the toilet or whatever and I just want to play a quick game of chess or something, um, I like to play bot. I mean, it's also less commitment to play a bot. Like, I'm playing against somebody. I don't really want to, you know, play for five minutes, be done with pooping and be like, all right, well, I don't really want to, like, I'm not really enjoying this game anyway, so I don't really want to play. I'm just going to end it and, uh, you know, finish up with the, the pooping and then uh, be done with it, right? But if I'm playing a person, then I have to, like, sit on the toilet uh, for a while, even when I'm not pooping anymore, and uh, continue playing the game, which, you know, sometimes you're having fun in a, in a bot fight anyway, but it's just, to me, playing against the computer is a more toilet-friendly experience. Uh, or blit, or um, yeah, or blitz. Blitz is blitz is okay too, because they're shorter, so a little a little bit less commitment. Um, but I what? How do you miss that point blank? Come on, dude. Uh, but anyway, I uh, I got it on my phone. And there's a pretty big problem with uh, with playing against bots on uh, on your phone on chess.com in their little app thingy, and that is that uh, if you drag from the side of your screen, at least with my phone, I have a Samsung S20 Ultra Plus 5G thing, whatever, you know, all the extra things on it. Um, the the phone that Linus's uh, thumbnail said, "Don't buy this phone." Now nah, that's the phone I got. It's definitely overpriced, but anyway, any hoozle. I like it, and uh, I uh, I uh, I swipe from the the right or the left side of my screen. This is a common thing on a lot of phones, uh, but I swipe from the left or the right side of my screen to go back. There is no back button. It's just you know swipe from the left, swipe from the right, and that's back. Uh, so oftentimes what happens is I'll be trying to move, you know, a piece on like the A file or the H file right at the edge of the the game board and it'll it'll count as a back. So I'll end up um it's just like that's pretty terrible. And and I'll just end up like leaving the game and then uh I can't continue. I can't go back into it. I can't you know, it's just gone because I just accidentally did that, and there's no protection against it, which is is really really annoying. So that's been that's been frustrating me on my uh, on the toilet quite a bit, or what I'm cooking or something. That's been it's been really frustrating. Um, as for which bot I play against, I'm playing against um, typically when I play a bot, I'm I'm playing against like a thousand to. 1400-ish, that kind of range. The highest I've beaten is 1600. Um, but this cat's back in the game. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm typically playing around the thousand to 1400-ish range. Tip, typically a little bit about the thousand. Much higher than that, and I'm getting destroyed almost all of the time. Um, too much lower than that, and they kind of just don't really work that well. Um, it's kind of funny when you're playing bots too, because sometimes, like I was like I was saying before, like I don't I don't think that a thousand elo bot is a thousand is is equivalent to an, a thousand elo player, uh, just because the decisions that they make to um, give you the advantage aren't always the best ones to give you that advantage. You know, like it's it's a purely calculative thing. So sometimes. You know, sometimes your advantage is isn't even there. They'll they'll give you the advantage in a way that only a computer would actually have an advantage in. 
And then sometimes they'll give you an advantage that's, like, just way too much of an advantage. Uh, like, I was pushing... I had I had two pawns on... Uh, I had two pawns on... Uh, so they had their the like queen side um, was all empty and uh, it was it was just like pawns and I think a knight and they had their rook on I believe G8 um, so and I had I had some pawns down on G and H so I started to just push them and they moved their rook over to the A rank, or the A file, rather. Uh, which was like, okay, that's 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 definitely a move that gives me the advantage here because now I'm gonna push these pawns up and, you know, go for two queens even. Uh, when you have two pawns like that, that are going up, you can't really take with the rook anyway. Uh, because the, 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 the pawns are always defended by themselves, more or less, right? Um, sort of, kind of. Anyway. But, uh... So I was, I was pushing the pawns up, anyway. And uh, they had their king over on, like, C3. And they had their knight moved over there. And uh, they had a bishop over there. And I kept moving my pawns up. Right? And they just kept repeating the same moves. They they kept going like bishop to a one, um, and then bishop to like c two, bishop to a one, bishop to c two. Every time I would move my pawns and like alternate up, and they would they would just keep on alternating. And I'm like, yeah. So this is just the computer trying to give me an advantage. Like this is never something that you know people would do. Because I ended up getting two queens out of it. And uh, there's no way a person would have just continued, like, repeating the same thing over and over again and just, like, let me get two queens. I was expecting to have to, like, defend them and stuff, but th they just let me do it. And then once you have two queens against, like, a bishop, a knight, a couple pawns, and a rook, like, you should, you should win. That shouldn't even be, like, <laughs> up for debate, really. Like, you should, you should win with that. Um, and I almost did. Almost, not quite. Um, I, like some, something about the position on the board. Something about the position on the board just uh, bugged out the the bots AI when they were trying to, to play as like a. I think that was a 1300 Elo. Um, maybe maybe 1500. It was either 1300 or like 1500 or, or something like that. Um, so it just bugged out their AI completely, like and and. Uh, it's like okay, cool. So like, I wouldn't necessarily compare this to like a 1500 Elo player because they're gonna do something to prevent the queens. They're gonna at least position something to be able to take, you know. But they just the the, the boss just didn't. Anyway, I ended up getting my queens, and then I tried to move the queen that was in the the H file, and instead of moving the queen, I just went back and left the game. So I didn't get the win. And it was really. Super duper unsatisfying because I ended up uh, so I ended I ended up sending off like a, a bug report for it and I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping that they add some kind of protection against that because it is insanely frustrating on uh, on PC I believe you can go back to the same bot and you will be back in the same thing it saves it for like as long as you want um. <sighs> But, on mobile, for some reason, I couldn't do that, so. But whatever, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. I still count that as a win, that was a 1300 to 1500 win, but, again, like, you, you look at, you know, a bot with 1300 to 1500, and, and you compare it to somebody with 1300 to 1500. I don't think that the bot compares to the to the actual real human. In, in a, in a, I got Probably in a bot fight, if you put like a 1500 bot against a, you know, 900 bot, probably the 1500 bot wins 100% of the games because both of them are intentionally 
trying to perform at their ranking. Uh, whereas I'm trying to perform above my ranking and the bot's trying to perform like below its ranking, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's just this weird sort of um, thing where not everybody's making the best move and um, my best moves are... I don't know. It's, 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 it, I, just, I just don't like comparing bots to people. At the very high end, they're better. At the very low end, they're worse, I think. Um, so. But, it's okay. It's, it's, it's still fun, even if I don't necessarily get to win every single game because I ended up leaving. I don't get to win every single game anyway because I end up dying sometimes. You know, I like, get checkmated or something, right? Like, you lose your king and you lose your queen, rather, and then you get checkmated or something. Huh. I don't know. It's uh, it's a scary thing. It's a spooky town. It's a spooky thing. So, but uh, yeah, it's 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 been a lot of fun playing. I am slowly moving up the rankings as well. I'm slowly getting my rating up higher. I'm at like 570 or 580 or something right now. My puzzle rating, I think, is like 800 or something. Um, and that's mostly only because uh, like I'm still solving the puzzles at this uh, rating. Uh, I just I'm I don't get unlimited puzzles to do. I like doing the puzzles because uh, I I feel like I learn uh, some tactics, which are are good for real play from time to time. But ultimately, the the real play is is good. That's why honestly I I look at the the higher subscription tiers on Chess.com. And it's like, yeah, you get more puzzles, but, like, honestly, I, I prefer having the amount of puzzles I can do limited so that I'm, I'm kind of forced to play more if I want to actually get some, some more chess, right? And actually, like, learn and, and get that experience. Because you look at, like, chess grandmasters or whatever, which I'm never going to be and I'm never... I'm, I have no intention of ever being. But you look at, like, chess grandmasters or something like that and they have, like... I don't know, I mean... Probably a million games plus of of chess that they've played, this cat's back right? In the game. I'm I'm guessing. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe maybe not any grandmaster, but I feel like I feel like a, a a lot of grandmasters would just because. Well, I guess it depends on if they're playing. Uh, you know, exclusively the uh, sort of like longer stuff, or if they're they're going for the the quicker, fast-paced stuff. Because you you can play like 10, 20 games of, of of blitz chess in an hour. You know, pretty 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 damn easily. Um, you know, bullet <laughs> especially. Uh, so if you're doing a lot of that, then you can you can get a lot of chess games. I mean, I've I've done probably in the hundreds at this point. Well, maybe not hundreds, but maybe I'm, I'm a, I think I'm. I don't know, maybe, maybe total across my life, maybe, maybe about in the hundreds. Recently, uh, in recent times, uh, where I've actually been like trying to improve and stuff, and, and actually putting in an effort to, to be better and, and learn from my mistakes and kind of analyze what I've done and stuff. Uh, you know, that's that's probably in the several dozens, and and like I've only been doing this for like a couple of weeks. And it's not even my main thing, you know, it's like every now and then I'm like, yeah, I'll go do like a chess match or something, right? And, uh, you got, you got people who've been doing, who've been playing chess for 20, 30, 40 years, and it's like, that's their thing, right? Like, this is what they do. It's crazy to think about, right? Just like how many games of chess these people have played. Because it, it's probably... At least six digits for for a lot of probably like international masters and up I'd say like probably the majority of them have played um, a uh, like six digit kind of games which is is crazy I'm nowhere near that so just just playing more games is is gonna get me closer to being good at chess than like puzzles ever will oh, yeah. you learn you learn a lot more from getting your butt kicked right uh, but anyway I've, I've, been, I've been raising in the rankings and I'm starting to face off against the people who are like 650 ish 630 starting to get those people who are just a little bit up there a little bit higher and uh, 
I am starting to get my butt kicked. I actually, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't get Scholar's Maiden, but uh, somebody did pull a Wayward Queen on me, and I responded with uh, Knight C6 or Knight, yeah, Knight C6. Wait, was it Knight C6? I can't remember. I responded, I responded with the with a move that is like definitely just bad for when somebody takes the Wayward Queen. Um, I didn't get Scholar's Mated because like you will never Scholar's Mate me. That will not happen. I am immune to the scholar's mate. However, um, they did end up like really wrecking me with that uh, with that queen, which just shouldn't have happened. When you when you pull your queen out that early, that's 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 like a, a you know second move is is pulling the queen out. Don't do that. <laughs> you can get you can punish that extremely easily. Uh, what you should do is. Uh, Move your queen side uh, knight, so it's a block a uh, the scholar's mate with the uh, the bishop moving into position or whatever, and you kind of are able to block that off, and then you can push your pawns and start to attack the queen and get a whole bunch of stuff done. If you pull your your king side knight out to try and capture the uh, the queen, then they can take your pawn, and now you're in like a pretty terrible position. Um. So you just you want to you want to protect the pawn mostly, and you can do that with your with your queenside uh, knight, which would be what 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 is that like f six, f three, f six, f six right? Um, knight to f six I think. Try I'm trying I'm trying to learn the notation. It takes some time to to kind of internalize it right. I can understand when people are talking. I can't really necessarily talk myself. But I can understand when people are using chest notation and talking now, so that's that's good. Anyway, I ended up falling for some pretty terrible stuff there. Um, but it's it's been nice getting up a little bit because previously I was you know facing off against high 400s, low 500s, and the majority of them just really weren't very good, to be honest. You know, I'm not very good, but. They were even worse than me. You know, they were they were me when I started. <laughs> you know, a week ago. And give them a week, and they'll be where I am now, right? Like, it's, I don't think it's conceit to, to to say that they aren't necessarily great players, but um, they aren't. But now I'm getting those like 600s. You know, moving up towards the 700 players, and and that's a, a bit of a more sort of even match. We're starting to to trade blows. I think. I haven't, I haven't had too many games since I moved up there, but I think I'm still coming out a little bit ahead. I think I'm still uh, winning more games than I'm losing, but I can't honestly remember. But we're getting, I'm getting higher, uh, higher rated players, and that's putting a, a bit more of a challenge on I me. Mean, it's making it a bit more just good all around. Like, like I said uh, before, I, 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 I like losing, you know? I, there's, there's nothing at stake here. I'm not in a tournament where I'm... You know, gonna lose, you know, prestige or, or or miss out on some kind of opportunity to to be considered, you know, a master or whatever. You know, like I'm a, like 600 rated player, just like playing chess for for fun, right? If I lose, then that's good. If I lose, that's good. I want I want more losses. You know, I want I want to get my butt handed to me on a silver platter. I want I want people to dismantle me. I, you know, pe people always say, "Oh, go easy on them, go easy on them." You know, they're go uh, go go easy on them. They're they're uh, they're new. You know, give 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 them a chance. Um, I think that's highly disrespectful. I, I want. When I'm when I'm facing somebody in in chess or in, in anything, I want you to go hard. I want I want you to try hard. I want you to try harder than you would if you were fighting somebody who was even. With you. I want you to really just put me in my place and absolutely destroy me <laughs> with with everything you can throw at me. Just absolutely wreck me and you know chop my butt off and hand it to me on a silver platter. You know, cause cause that's how I'm gonna learn. That's how I'm gonna learn, you know. When I when I make this mistake, don't do that because you're gonna get punished, you know. 
And if, if somebody else makes this mistake, you can punish them. Right? You learn by making these mistakes, so... I always find it really disrespectful when people are like, Oh, well, that's just, you know, don't... Don't go, don't, don't go too hard. You know, go take it, take it a little easy on them. You know, make, give it a, give, give the, give them a fight. You know, and it's like it's just so disrespectful. They're not going to learn anything if you don't destroy them. You know, if I, if I fought against, if I, if I played against the, uh, you know, some, some, somebody who was way better than me, I would expect to lose, and I would consider that a very valuable loss. I think I think a lot of people are afraid of failure, and I think that's a big part of you know why people fail. You know, I I, I don't I don't think it's a big part of why people fail, but I think it's a big part of why. I, fail, I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say, but when I when I fail at something, I, I view that as like goodish, you know. Like I even in, even yesterday I was talking about uh, the Moonlord fight, you know. Um, Normally you, you try and you try and try and you're slowly seeing that improvement. It's really nice to be able to see that as, as you keep making mistakes and you learn from those mistakes and you're able to continue improving and getting better at what you're doing. Um, so you should you should just you should like failure. As long as as long as there's no risk, don't be afraid of failure, you know? Some sometimes there is a risk and, and you wanna try and go into it, you know, if you, if your goal is to jump off a a building and survive the fall you shouldn't just go with it and be like well you know if I die I die it's a good thing you know no like you should probably like look into the proper way to do it safely and have all the equipment and everything to make it safe and like properly go over everything and research everything and, and make it as good as you can but when you're just playing chess or when you're talking to somebody or like you're in high school and you want to ask out the girl or you know wh whatever it is that you got going on that's like Really, there just isn't really any risk. Like, just go fail. <laughs> if there's no risk, then failure is like a, a great learning experience. So, I uh, I'm happy to be at a little bit of a higher rating now, and facing off against people who are much better at putting me in my place, which is very very nice. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. So, thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like, subscribe to see more of the future comedy if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.